Welcome to Teacher Tips with Mr. Long. And let's say you've got a scenario where you found a really nice website or article online and you want to provide it to your students, but you don't want to give them the link or want them to use their data. Maybe you want to provide it to them offline so that they can access it on their computer at home without even needing the internet. So we're going to learn how to do that. And you don't need any major skills to do this. It's a very basic level thing that you can do. So let's pretend we found this really nice article about this new dinosaur that was found in Mexico. So it's a nice little article. There's the website address. And we found, hey, this is really cool. I want to be able to give it to my students. Um, but a lot of them don't have um, access to data. Maybe I want to send it on a WhatsApp group or in, a, in, a, in something like that. Um, so how do I get this to them? So what I can do is it's very simple. I can literally go and to the part where we want to print this web page. Yes, you want to print it. Now, that seems weird, but we do want to print it. So I'm going to print it. And when I print it, it's going to ask me um, which printer do I want to print to. And one of the printers that will pop up when this box finally loads is we can save it to a PDF. Now, depending on which browser you have, it might be a different way of saying it, but most of them all do the same thing. So there's a way that you can print to PDF. So I don't have other printers yet, but you can literally save it as a PDF option. So I'm going to click on that option. So save it as a PDF. You can specify which pages you want. So if you look at the document, you can go, hey, this is really cool. And then, oh, that last page is absolutely nothing so actually I don't want that last page so I only want the first two pages so let's say custom and I say hey, I just want page 1-2 because those are the two pages you can say how you want it and there are other settings over here about how you want the size and the scale and so on so you can do that you can maybe print it to two sheets if you want it as a worksheet that looks something like this you can do that as well um, you can even select the background graphics of that. and you literally that's all you have to do you can save it as a PDF save and now it'll ask you where you want to save it to so the key thing here is to remember that you're not saving the website as you're just printing it and you print it to, as a PDF and now you go to wherever you want to save it let's say I want to go save it to um, let's go over here I want to save to my downloads boom and there we go and there we go. So that'll start the save and it'll, wherever you selected it must save and that's where it'll go. So it's busy compiling it. And then at some point you might see a little box at the bottom here saying that, hey, we busy saving. Okay. So there we go. So let's go test to see if we found it. So I went to the place in my computer where I saved it. There it is. I double clicked on it and it looks something like this. And now I've got this little resource which I can send to them in the WhatsApp group or put it on, on your local storage or something like that. And that's where your students can access this website. And all the reference to the, the URL will be there. So you are referencing it and they can have access to this article. That's great. So and that's one way of doing it. Another way that you can do it as well is that if you search online, um, it gives you a couple of more options if you do that. You can search convert web page into PDF. There's a whole bunch of options that appear. I'm just clicking on the first, that web page to PDF example that is on this side. So what does it look like? So it's, it's exactly the same thing. Um, so you can save the PDF. It might give you a couple more options about what you want to do with the with the final product. And what you have to do is you just have to put the URL there. The URL, if you go to the website that you want to save, I'll just click on this dinosaur article. It's this little part at the top here. So if you just select all of it and right click copy and then you go to your web page converter you can actually paste it over here boom. and the link will appear boom. and then you can have options and they give you more options here of what, how you want to do it and so you can specify the portrait and so there are a couple more options there that you can extract certain things and so on and then you can just convert it and then it will do the conversion for you boom, boom, boom. it's busy converting and then you can download that PDF that's just another way of doing it okay maybe your save to PDF doesn't want to work so you can use this as another option another thing that sometimes happens is you want to actually take a PDF and you want to be able to save just a couple of pages from it okay so while we're waiting for this to convert let's just see what it does boom, boom. I'm just going to pause. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. It's completed. And yeah, we can download it by clicking on that icon. And when we click on it, it'll download the file for me. Boom, boom. So there it is. So there's the article. So now, if I go open it, let's go. If we go back to the downloads folder, we'll see that the new one should have appeared. There we go. This is the one. Has it appeared? No. Boom. Date modified. Date modified. There we go. There's there's the article there. Okay. So let's open it. Yeah, this is the one that we just did from this website. So it's slightly different to the other one. 
But yeah, we didn't do two pages. We just did one page. So yeah, we've got it opened up in Adobe. Now, if I open this up in, for example, maybe I want to open it up in my browser. So yeah, I've got the article open up in the browser. Let's go put a new page there. Let's go do that. And we want to open up in the browser. Boom. So yeah, we can open up a PDF in the browser, which is great. We can do that save option again. And when we do the download, you can go and you can print it as well. We want to print it. And in this case, I'm printing the PDF as another PDF. And this way I can specify, I actually just want page one. So that's another way that you can get have a long PDF, whether you found it on the internet or another PDF, and you can save it as particular pages. Maybe you only want page two. You can just save particular pages or page two to three. It's up to you. So you can actually, it's a way of basically cutting the PDF into the parts that you want. And then you just save that PDF like you did in the previous one. So any PDF that you open up in a browser, you can just print it and modify it slightly. Other options, you can also, if you search online, I search for PDF split. And you get lots of little, little options here. I found this, I love PDF. Obviously, they love the PDF. Um, and so here, you've got options to merge. So if you've got multiple PDFs and you want to put them into one, you can use that. You can split them, you can compress them. All these lovely options that are available to you. So you select the files and you can say what order you want them. And then it'll create one PDF with all the documents that you've created. So that's a nice little option for you. And then the split one, obviously, if you've got a PDF that's got one to be broken down into different parts, you can do that and just follow the instructions. So those are ways that you can really use your PDFs and modify them so that you can send them to your students or to fellow teachers as resources. For more teacher tips from Mr. Long, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a like, and let us know what videos you would like us to make to help you as a teacher. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.